Being active has never been more rewarding. Ray Nidling's path to an Olympic gold medal started with a near-fatal drowning accident. Determined that no child should ever go through the same experience and on the flip side discover their aquatic potential, he started a swimming school. This whole venture started when I was about five years old and I almost drowned in a neighbor's pool. That's how my swimming career started and it's been something that I've been thinking about for a very long time. There are so many drownings you know, in South Africa and for every drowning there are four people with permanent brain damage. You know, swimming is a life skill, it's not just a sport and that's why I started this business and we've got about a thousand kids every week that swim and yeah, I must say it, you know, it feels good to give something back. Children from the ages of one to four benefit most from learning to swim because that's the age that sees most drowning incidents. Because swimming is such a good sport all round, the social skill, the physical skill that you get from swimming and obviously the life skill of being safe in the water, in and around water, makes it brilliant for any child to be able to swim. For safety, the first and most important thing is for any parent to always be aware of where their child is in and around pool areas and to obviously make sure that their pool area is safe. Entering the pool, being around the pool, always being cautious of what the child is doing. According to the Medical Research Council, around 3,000 deaths occur each year in South Africa through drowning, most of which are children. It's important to keep it very simple when you talk about water safety. Obviously you need the gear, swimsuits that are comfortable, but with the sun being very strong, it's important to use some sunblock or full length swimsuits. We want to prevent people from drowning or kids from drowning, so we teach them how to get into the water, how to get out, how to blow bubbles, how to breathe, how to float. But it's also very important to teach respect for the water. So there are some times when the instructor will let the child maybe go on the water a little bit longer than, you know, than what they're used to. The parents you know, sometimes can get a bit of a fright, but it's important that they understand that the water is not something that they can play in at that age. They need to respect it. As you can see, LaRue is a feisty young man and he's got lots of energy. And swimming is a great tool to, to help them focus. A very good story of our Olympic gold medalist and world record holder a camera from the Berg who had ADHD and his mom decided that she was going to teach him how to swim and now he's an Olympic gold medalist. Both children and adults benefit from learning to swim and though it's never too late to start, the sooner you start, the better. It's very rewarding, very exciting and it's nice working with children and see how they progress and swim. Yeah, it's, it's a dream job. <laughs> They like playing, they like the water. They're normally very excited when they come for their swimming lessons. Yeah, and then the swimming and the friends and yeah. It's also a life-saving job. And aside from the obvious safety and exercise aspect, swimming lessons provide other benefits too. Parents at home that want to get their kids used to the water and begin the swim lesson process, it's important to as soon as possible when they're in the bath, to pour water over their eyes and face, just to get them used to, you know, to water. I think swimming can be a great bonding experience and exercise. Obviously, there's a lot of trust involved. If you let your child go and they go under the water, it's also great for the moms after a long pregnancy to be able to get into the water and do some very light exercises almost like water aerobics with the kids in a nice and comfortable environment with some other moms as well. I think something that's also very important and almost unique to South Africa is that for so many years so many people you know, didn't have the opportunity to learn how to swim so we've got young kids you know, coming in to learn how to swim but the parents don't know how to swim so it's never too old to learn. I think some of the biggest joy that I get are from adults that have a dream to learn how to swim and they take that step and they come in actually with the young kid and it's a dual process and you know, for the people that are watching you're never too old to learn how to swim. To find out more about local swimming lessons go to your municipal pools, your gyms and schools and get ready to make a splash.
Make a point these holidays of always having your medical aid card with you. In fact, some medical aids offer you Mobi sites where you can access your details anytime, anywhere, even access healthcare service providers in your particular area. It's also a good idea to make sure your next of kin or traveling companions can access your medical aid details in case you become incapacitated. Stay with us after the break, some great ideas on how to really relax. Your healthcare needs are unique, and so is our offering. I want to live the best life. 